Howdy folks, it's Archer's Paradox and continuing my series on long range precision shooting. Uh, in the first part I covered the basics of a long range rifle. The next topic of discussion will be the tools of my trade. Now there are three key tools that I rely upon on being able to accurately engage targets at long range. The first piece of the equation is a set of, of binoculars. These are Zeiss 10 by 30s and you talk about some phenomenal glass you cannot beat a awesome piece of binoculars like these Zeiss. The second piece of the equation is a laser rangefinder. This is a Leica LRF 1200. It's rated to 1200 meters and I've accurately uh, measured distances out to 1200 meters and, and beyond. On smaller targets such as groundhogs I've actually uh, ranged a groundhog at 1,017 yards which is to date my longest confirmed groundhog kill. The last piece of the equation is my shooter app for my smartphone and I'll tell you what I cannot accurately engage targets without this piece of software. Okay, so you, if you guys have a smartphone whether it be an Android or iPhone uh, platform just go to your marketplace and look for a do a search for a shooter ballistic app. There's a little icon right there. Now, the setup is fairly straightforward. As you can see, I have six of my rifles that I shoot that I've set up for the ballistics. So let's go ahead and look at the 260 AI Mauser. I've got two loads that I shoot. I've got a 95 grain VMAX, which is my go-to groundhog round. And then I have a Burger 140 grain match, boat tail, long range bullet. Let's go ahead and look at, uh, we'll look at the burger first. So it, it shows you the, the basic parameters. What you want to do when, you, when you're first developing a load, we'll go ahead and edit this load. So like I said, what the first thing you want to do is, let's say you've developed a load that is to your accuracy specifications. So the details that you need to enter in the edit is the bullet diameter, the bullet weight, the bullet length, the muzzle velocity, the powder temperature at which you sight in, the drag model, and the drag model, model is either a G1 or G7, and, and the BC is a ballistic coefficient, your zero range, and then you can enable zero atmosphere, temperature, and humidity. So once all those parameters are entered, you can go ahead and start using the app. Now as you can see, I don't know if you can see the little, it looks like a little satellite right there. I'm actually linked up to GPS weather satellite which downloads all the pertinent weather uh, information. And there's your distance of which you can change. You can change your look angle, which is the angle from where you're shooting to where your target is at, the move speed, the move angle, the altitude. Okay, so once you've entered all your parameters for that specific load you're gonna shoot, we'll go ahead and choose the uh, Burger 140 grain match. There's your distance. That's primarily the, uh, the parameter you will change the most. And that arrow actually gives your solution. And if you see, it shows at a thousand yards you need to correct for 23.5 MOA or minutes of angle for a 10 mile an hour full value crosswind such as either it's coming from the nine o'clock or three o'clock position it is six minutes of angle for correction. So once I had the solution calculated by shooter app I just go to my turrets on my scope this is the elevation turret I just dial in 23 and a half minutes so that's 12, 24, and I just back off half a minute. And for the uh, for the wind calculation, I need to come six minutes to the right. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if you notice, I ha I have marked on the vertical and horizontal graduations in a red sharpie my zero positions. 
after a, a day of shooting, of, of correcting for up and down and left and right, it's easy to get what we call getting lost in your scope. Um, it's, it's more so prevalent if you're doing a lot of long range tactical shooting where you're engaging targets from, uh, you know, say 300 yards out to 1200 yards. If you're off by one rotation on your scope, you're pretty much done. All right, folks, well, I hope I uh, touched this a little bit about uh, how, I, how I get into long range shooting and being able to accurately engage targets at, at distance. Uh, coming up this spring, I'm getting really excited for another uh, fun season of groundhog hunting. I did produce a series of precision reloading videos on my YouTube channel. You got to search up, up long and hard. They're buried, uh, buried in there, no doubt. So anyways, this is Archer's Paradox. I hope you like my little video on long range shooting and what it takes. Archer's Paradox, signing off.